homesteading, to prepping, to common horse sense, we are College Hill Farm. Welcome back to College Hill Farm. Well, it's June 15th. It's time to do some more planting. We're not planting in the garden today. I've taken most of the tomatoes out of my bed. I still have probably eight or nine plants left in the bed. I planted 220, right at 220 plants out of our tomato bed that we made. Uh, but I've only, uh, and I've given away a lot. Uh, you know that it made probably 400 plants. I've given away a lot. I planted 220 that lived, okay? So some of the ones that you take out of these beds don't live, and you've got to plan for that, so you plant more than you need. So I've got a bunch left here, mainly tommy toes, little red tommy toes. So there's nothing I can do with these. I'm not going to leave them here to grow. There's, I need to use the bed for something else. I've got plenty of tomatoes in the garden. Now, Crystal and I have never ran out of tomatoes till this winter. We ran out because last year I didn't get, Crystal didn't get to can any. So we ran out of tomatoes. We're not going to do that this year, I hope. Good Lord willing. Now, I've got to get this bed ready because I need to plant something else in it. So let's take a look and see what we've got. Here's our bed, and uh, all we've got left is a few tommy toes and maybe maybe uh, a pink ox heart or a pink Belgium. So all these have to go. I've got to get these out of the bed. So I'm just going to reach down here and just pull them up. Hurts my feelings to do this, but it's just got to be done if I want to do the next planting. Now any weeds, I'll pull them out of there too while I'm at it. Okay. It's got all the little tomatoes out. Now. weeds out of there. I want to pull them out. I don't want to just cut them off. That wasn't too bad. About eight weeds in that entire bed. And if you remember, we laid this bed in April. So this is June the 15th. So May, April to May, then June is 60 days. So in 65 days, it's only grown four or five weeds. That's pretty awesome. So now, I'm gonna smooth this out and I'm gonna add some compost and manure. One bag. I'm going to spread that out in the bed. So it just mixed in well with all the other. Now my bed's ready to plant again. Okay, we got the bed ready. That was cool. 65 days. Is that right? 60, 
75 days. 75 days since we planted our tomatoes in the bed. And I've got a bed here that only had four or five weeds in it, maybe six. So that's pretty awesome. I added some compost and now we're going to plant what we're going to plant. Well, it's good and warm, June 15th. I'm going to plant peppers. And let me show you the pepper I'm going to plant. Uh, these came from a person, but they've got a little business they call Florida Garden Seeds. I don't know how well you can see that. That's ancho peppers. I'm going to plant some anchos. And uh, I also got them from other places. But I'm going to plant these as well. This is an Alma paprika pepper. And I don't know if I'll say this right, but this is a Le Chauer paprika pepper. Now, the number of seeds I've got here of these, if you'll look, that's how many seeds there are. I'm not planting these four uh, paprika peppers for this year. We'll try making a little bit of paprika with uh, some of the peppers, but I'm planting this for seed. Uh, the ancho peppers are the same way. I want to get seed back. Uh, here's another set of ancho peppers. Okay. And again, I'm planting them for seed so I can get seed back. These are an heirloom variety. And then one last one is I bought a set of seeds and I think I bought these last year. No, they're for 2020. These are Anaheim peppers. And I'm going to plant these right here in this uh, bed. Uh, I'm going to start with the shower peppers. Put these in order. I'm going to start with the Le Showers. I'm going to plant those. And then I'm going to plant the Almas. And then I'm going to plant the Anchos. And finally, I'm going to plant the Anaheims. So, to do these, I'm going to separate them out pretty good because I'm going to need to transplant these. Peppers don't transplant as easy as tomatoes. Uh, you really want to dig up some dirt with them. So I'll space these seeds a lot farther out than I ever spaced the tomato seeds. Let's start at this upper end with the Le Shower peppers. Now these uh, paprika peppers, they are uh, two years old. So that's got to be something I got a plan for. Now I'm going to spread these out a little bit with my hoe. I don't know how well they'll come up. Again, they were from somebody. Okay. Now, peppers will have to have a little covering. Because if you don't, they will dry out. They'll dry out during the germination process, and then you won't get any. So if they dry out during germination, so I'm trying to look and make sure I have all my little peppers covered. Okay, the next pepper is the Alma paprika pepper. Do it the same way, but I only have about eight Alma paprika pepper seeds. Looks like I've got eight or ten. That's all I've got. So, I had nine. Now I'm going to cover those lightly.
Okay. So that's those. Now the ancho pepper seeds. And I'm not holding nothing back on these. This is an all or nothing planting. But I'm going to plant every one of these. Now my ancho peppers came from two different sources. Uh, pull some dirt up here and cover them lightly. They came from two different sources. That's why I'm uh, keen on getting those planted. Now, the anchos, all the peppers I planted there were from two years old seed. Okay, they were harvested for seed for last year, but I didn't get to plant them. So, this year, these Anaheims, and just so you know, all pepper seeds look a lot alike, and they take a long time to germinate. This is what a pepper seed looks like. Okay, they take a long time to germinate. And if they dry out during the germination process, they won't make. So, it's important that I come out every day, probably twice a day, and wet this bed down. Now, Paul, my grandfather, and grandmother they used to bed peppers and tomatoes they bedded uh, bedded peppers tomatoes and tobacco so they did this all the time so I know it'll work but I've never grown paprika peppers I've never grown, grown ancho peppers, and I've never grown Anaheim peppers. So this is a new thing for me that we want to add to the homestead. Okay, that's our specialty peppers. Uh, always do something new. Always try something different. Uh, I had these from last year, didn't get to do them. But this is something totally different for me. I told you I show you things on the channel that we've done, and then things we've never done. Now, I've raised peppers in a bed before. Uh, but always banana peppers and bell peppers. Never Anaheim's, Poblano's, or paprika peppers. Now, the two paprika peppers, paprika comes from, I think, Romania. Uh, I'm hoping we have a similar climate, but I waited till it was warm because all peppers like it hot. So I waited till June till I emptied my bed of tomatoes, and then I planted the peppers behind them. Now, Paul planted bell peppers and banana peppers right in the tomato bed. So, I don't know, I may be too late, but these are all like 80 days. This is June the 15th. Let's say these take seven days to come up. It takes peppers a long time to germinate. Let's say it takes these seven days to come up. And that gets us up to June the 21st. June the 22nd. June the 22nd. So July the 22nd, August the 22nd, September the 22nd would be 90 days. These are 80 day peppers. Our first frost is listed for June or for November the 1st. Our, our first frost of the fall, November the 1st. So that gives these, if we count it up that way, it gives these somewhere around 120 to 130 days to make. Well, that's plenty of time for them to make enough peppers for me to get plenty of seed. Okay, if they come up good. Now, how long do Alma and uh, and uh, La Shower Paprika peppers last as seed and anchos? I have no idea. Okay, I made a list and it shows that pepper seed's good for about three or four years. But that don't mean nothing because every pepper is different. So, I think these ought to be good for four years, 
but they may not be. They may not none come up. Just depends. Now, if you like this kind of stuff, this homesteading, do-it-yourself kind of lifestyle, be certain to come on out to the channel and subscribe. We do this homesteading, prepping, sustainable lifestyle as much as possible every week, sometimes one, sometimes five videos. Just depends on what's going on in the homestead that week. If you hit the little bell when you come to the channel, it'll notify you when we upload a video. And we upload every Sunday. Now, with that being said, it's time for me to get on to the next thing.